Oh, worry. Uh oh, dude. I pretty much grew up in the most religious and politically involved place in the world, so I was always trying to avoid it. So it was pretty natural to automatically end up with like heavy metal and skateboarding and all that kind of stuff. And that automatically got me into like artwork and drawing. So I've always been pretty much drawing my entire life. The more I kept traveling, the more influence I got, but either different bands or skateboarding. And I got lucky enough to meet a bunch of different skaters and different bands and travel with them. Like all, all the creature guys are like my best friends. I fucking love all of them. We've been traveling with them so many trips. So we always shoot the shit and find some new ideas to make cool graphics and cool designs. I got to tattoo all of them. So I already kind of know which which rider likes what and like what they're into. So it's pretty easy to come up with designs that'll fit creature and their exact like specific riders, you know? A lot of times you don't really know, you have the idea in your head and you don't really know how it's gonna turn out and then you draw it, especially like drawing like digitally on an iPad, I get to like try different colors, different ideas, move it around a little bit and then when you see it finally printed, it's like, oh yeah, that's the one, you know, like you, you never really know until it's like fully done, but like when I get approved and everybody is into it and everybody likes it, then you get to see it when it's printed and it's like, oh yeah, obviously it makes sense, you know? Traveling so much, it's really hard to travel with like so much gear, so many papers and ink and stuff like that. So you got to a point that I lost a bunch of paintings and stuff, just traveling with it, everything gets cramped up in your luggage and you lose a lot of stuff. So I got to a point that I was like, okay, yeah, let's do the digital stuff. It's a lot easier and it's more simple to be able to move it around, change the color, or fit it better on a board shape or anything like that. So it makes it just makes a lot more sense to do digital design once it's getting printed. I'm uh, guesting a black heart tattoo right now. It's another spot in one of the trips I'm doing. So every trip I do, I try to go and hit as many hot spots as possible, be able to tattoo as many people and hang out with all the homies, get to party with everybody. Yeah, that turned out super sick. I love how all the neon colors make it look like more like a 70s comic book style. I was trying to go with mostly like horror books from like horror comic books from the 70s. So try to keep it as creature as possible. It's a bunch of skulls and demons and whatever we could add to it. to make it look a little bit more metal. Keep it, keep it simple, but not boring. So like, you know, just add as much detail and line drawings as you can. Dude, it's so sick. I mean, it's honestly super cool to see like in comparison to like how it goes from like a digital design and being able to see it when it's finally printed. So sick, you get all the details, all the tiny little lines and everything comes out so cool. Neon green mushrooms with a creature logo. That's awesome. Gravette, just fishing, skulls. It's pretty easy once you get to hang out with all these guys. It's pretty easy to come up with stuff that'll fit each and every one of them, you know? Stuff that'll keep it a little bit funny, but also rock and roll enough. So yeah, just a bunch of fishing and weed. I really like the scorpions holding a spliff. That one's super sick. I feel like it's a little bit more tattoo-ish design. I love how it turns out on negative background. Turn out pretty crazy, like the skull with the fucking goat head turn out pretty psychedelic it's all like trippy colors but like makes it pop up a little bit more it's a tattoo design but it makes it look a little bit more neon and more vibrant so yeah super cool all the skulls up here yeah well i tattooed russell a bunch so i was kind of working off all the medieval theme stuff that we were doing on him so like all these stuff is just like weapons and shit i tattooed on russell before so i it's kind of a simple way to do it. And I was just like, yeah, I'll just do more medieval weapons and arrows and daggers and keep it as medieval as possible, but still have like some tattoo aspect to it and not make it too fantasy-like. Willis, that was probably my favorite one. I love the black background. That one's for sure my favorite one. It's just working off a bunch of trips that we had and like, yeah, just, all sorts of foresty type stuff, more mushrooms and skeletons and a little bit more of the nature part of it. But I still wanted to keep it as tattooed as possible, so I added like 
classic eagles and something that'll be a little bit more tattoo like but still have the foresty type of aspect to it oh yeah bunch of bigfoots <laughs> Good to be back. Yeah. <laughs>